In the murky tributaries of Darwin Harbour, rangers are checking traps for problem crocs. Go on, buddy. This is one of around 300 salties pulled from these waters every year. <sighs> yeah, it's good there, Stu. With this three metre reptile safe and secure, the rangers are off to the next trap to make sure the baits are ready for action. So we use feral pig, cut up to about two kilo block, and then we bait the trap with that. It's just a simple trigger mechanism. Once a crop takes the bait, the door falls down and the animal can't get out once that's happened. It's a tried and true method to ensure crocodiles are kept well away from humans. Spotlighting at night is also used before top end water holes are given the all clear for swimmers. Now a potential new safety measure is being developed. Scientists at Charles Darwin University are working on a DNA testing kit that can detect the presence of saltwater crocodiles in water. Uh, the idea is it could be used as a complementary monitoring method where um, people that are going out spotting or trapping can also take a water sample just to make sure that there's definitely uh, no crocodile there. By keeping the reptiles in tubs of water, the researchers are able to test their concept in lab conditions before taking it out into the wild. We've taken water samples over time to look at when we first can detect crocodile DNA or if we can detect it. Traps like this are still the best method to find and remove problem crocs, but scientists hope in the future DNA testing will provide an additional way to keep people safe from salties. Really the next stage now is to go out there and gather water samples in the wild and combine that with spotlight surveys to see if there's um, positive, you know, how, how effective the technique is at identifying crocodiles. But the big question is whether the test will stack up in large bodies of water across the top end. There's no, there's no substitute for actually getting out there and physically being on the waterways and seeing the crocodiles with your own eyes. For now, these crocodile rangers are sticking to what they know best. Jono Gibson, ABC News, Darwin.